Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, did you see that motherfucking AI picture of Donald Trump and those black women? Girl, and did you do you see the girl? They are trying everything they can in this campaign. This is girl. not a real trip, a picture. If you all have seen this, is there another close up picture? All like the women look the same with the same smile, the same, the same face structure. Right. The woman to his his left with the black dress on. She got two hands mm -hmm. on her on her resting on her thigh. Donald Trump got an extra set right. Here. It's like they've created this to try to make people think that there are black women in support of Donald Trump. And that's not to say that there aren't black women who are in support because that girl who was down at that Chick Fil A mm -hmm. is clearly one of those hotep Negroes who's uh, riding the wave. That's sure to crash and burn soon. Oh, we didn't talk about this hole right here. Slow down, go down. This one, yeah, this hole right here. Uh huh. That was the woman. She was connected to the uh, to Olympic story. To the Olympic story. Uh -huh. But you know what? Because before, if no, you you no more. I don't know why you didn't want to put the part of when she, she said faggots up there. Well, this is the type of show we run. Uh, yeah, she definitely was saying faggots. I was thinking about. You can't think about that. And fuck that. I'm, we gonna, I'm gonna get it anyway. And her name okay. is um <laughs> my fault, name. my fault, man. They always be somewhere you could you could Valentina you, Gomez. You could clearly, clearly, the moment that, that shit, the moment that they get an opportunity to jump out, mm -hmm. they do that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I wish um, one of you hoes, that's why I don't mind bashing me a motherfucker. Let me hear Miss Lotion right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they they're, so they're trying too. all kinds of strategies. And, oh, Sorry. And this is why I was saying the other week. Remember when we talked about this the other week when there was like this audio of Kamala saying this, that, and third, but it was AI generated that um, Elon Musk had put together. And I said, this is why it needs to be illegal now. They need to put legislation yes, in place and now. Elon, Elon also was passing that shit that that girl was trans. Correct. Oh. With, and he has a trans daughter. And a trans daughter. But this, but see, Craig, there's always a root to it. Yeah. People don't want to believe it. There's always a root to it. I watch you puss ass motherfucking hoes that got those transphobic bones in you. I, that, that lets me know either you know somebody, either you're that's the same thing when I was talking about ju just the same thing when I was saying about that hoe. I was like, bitch, you there's a deep rooted feeling in it because of an experience that you've had. We're not going to sit up here and act like that. That's not what it is. Mm. The girls be feeling some type of way because of the experience, either the experiences that they mm -hmm. had or shit that they adjacent to. Right. The, or they got to constantly, they got to constantly, if you was a bitch that constantly get called a nigga, you going to feel some type of way by bitches that live, that is niggas. That's, mm -hmm. that, that walk Trans around women. And, that, that walk around and, and be bitches all day. You going to feel some type of way by that. I don't give a fuck what you say out your mouth. It's going to be some deep-rooted thing if the if there's a constant time of use of them motherfuckers Some saying, sort of bias. You were, you were, you, yeah. you show you ain't, a, no, I ain't one of them. Hell no, I ain't one of right. them motherfuckers. So y'all be acting like the shit that I say be so way out in the stratosphere. Yeah. When you really dissect the root of the problem and the root is a bitch be over there feeling some kind of way. You, that you can't, if you grow hair on your chin, if you got masculine energy, if you got a six pack and pregnant, if anything is going on and a motherfucking nigga is the nigga trying to decipher, that ain't got nothing to do with the trainees. Nothing. Human beings possess both male and female things. Chromosomes, motherfucking body pieces. Some of you hold feet bigger than mine, hands bigger than mine, and be screaming at me as, as a nigga. Bitches be six feet tall, seven feet tall. It's okay. Hmm. But that when I tell you those Republicans, they're doing everything in their power. With everything. The I would, I'm gonna tell you this, Craig. It's terrible. I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm finna say it. Now what? he did agree to do a debate with Kamala. Girl, did you see the on Fox News? Did you though? see the black journalist tearing him up? Tore him up. You, because see, here's the thing: we definitely got to talk about that that shit show that happened at NABJ. 
National Association of Black Journalists. That's a sacred place. And it was supposed to be a sacred place for black journalists. And he went to that conference and made a fool of them. The only journalist that I think made any type of impact was Rachel Scott. She was the black woman that he said she was rude and, you know, he's never been uh, introduced like that. And then for the people to be laughing in that audience. And I know there was some MAGA people there too, but again, they needed to do a better job of vetting people. Why would you have, and then who's that black girl from Fox News? I can't think of her. She was up there on that panel. She's She's been a hotel. She's been a hotep Negro. Any black journalist working over there at Fox, Fox News, I'm looking at you sideways. She was on the panel. It was, it was like mostly black women. I don't think there were any, any male journalists up there, but I watched it. They never asked the question about Project 2025. And so for all of the black people who kept saying, well, no, we, uh, it was, I think they should have had him there because it gave us an, an opportunity to see him for what he is. Bitch, how many opportunities do you need? To see him for where he is? How much? First of all, all of this shit from the past, you ain't figured it the fuck out yet? First of all, black jobs. What is a black job? And then set up there and said he's the best thing that happened to black people since, who did he say, Abraham Lincoln or some shit? He said, y'all don't see that? He did. He came there and disrespected a black woman, Kamala, Kamala Harris. He disrespected the black women that were on that panel. Why invite him? Why did you invite him? That was horrible. There should have been a mediator there. They should have had access to turn his motherfucking microphone off when he got the bloviating about nothing. And then he came there and insulted them niggas. Because that's how he's talked to them. He talked to them like they were niggas. He said, I got here and you all didn't even know how to work your equipment. Oh! He said, it took 35 minutes for you all to figure out how to work your equipment. Dumb niggas. And here's the thing. Y'all really sitting over there. This man never answers a question. Never. Never did. He never answers a question. He never answers a fucking question. He played y'all. He never Answers a question and then they be sitting down. Yeah, because Trump is what the fuck? Child, he played y'all like goddamn fiddles. That was a waste of time, energy, and effort. And again, that was a sacred place. That should have been an opportunity for them to uh really bring uh like a Jasmine Crockett there and really kind of galvanize and really talk about how to use black media to support Kamala. That's what they should have been talking about. Giving him a motherfucking stage, that was just stupid. And my girl Joy Ann Reed said it best because they Joy Ann Reed is the one that I told you guys about. I know many of you know who she is. She has a show called The Readout. And um, she said it best when she described exactly what happened there. Take a listen. Of the United States litigated in our own house? Scandalous. <laughs> Offensive. I would say darn near evil. And so what I would say is that we should not be in this conversation about whether or not this woman is black. It is an offensive conversation that doesn't exist in our community and in our context. And they are attempting to say that even in the 21st century, in the year of our Lord, 2024, it is not us that decides who is black. It's them. I'm so offended by that. It was hard for me to get up in the morning and come down here. And the last thing I will say is that I think for this organization, we need to set a standard because this is the home of black journalism. And there should be a very high standard for who we let into this house and for how we do it. And I'm gonna big up Rachel Scott from ABC News because she held it down and did very well for herself and hold up that person accountable. But when you have somebody on stage whose news organization settled a nearly $800 million civil settlement because they were willing to promote the big lie, unacceptable, in my opinion. And I don't get to decide who's on panels, but I felt like if I didn't say that Amen. to the face of NABJ, then actually I would be embarrassed for myself because I believe, as the vice president said, if I want to, if you want to say something to me, say it to my face. Amen. So I'm like, I'm going to come to NABJ and say it right to NABJ that I think that the, the, the way that that conversation was put together without allowing equal access for the other candidate, I think was not right. 
And I think allowing our race and the race of other members of our community to be litigated by the people who think they have the right to decide who's black, unacceptable, and we should not allow it. Now, Amaris, baby girl, at the top of this live, I said it's so important to be into the arts. The arts isn't just stage plays. It's also books and literature, other literature. Mm -hmm. Mo, can you please pull up that passage from Kamala Harris's book? Now, this book, is it was published by Penguin Books in 2019. Uh, let me take this comment down. And down here, if you scroll down to that last paragraph, she says, this is a quote from the book in 2019. She says, my mother understood very well that she was raising two black daughters, Harris writes in her autobiography. She knew that her adopted homeland, because her mother was not from the, from the States, would see Maya and me, me being Kamala, as black girls, and she was determined to make sure we would grow into confident, proud black women. Now, I don't know where you, you people are getting this information from. Again, I don't know if you are looking at the shade room or some of these other, you can take it down, Mo. If you're looking at the shade room or some of these other places, but she has both acknowledged her Asian descent and her black descent, but she always talks about being a black woman. If anything, she talks more about being a black woman. She went to Howard University, which is an HBCU. We joke and say HSBCU mm -hmm. here. She's an AKA, which is a part of the Divine Nine. I don't know what all you want from her. What do you want her to say? What do you want her to do? But again, the information is there. It was published in 2019. This is what happens when we don't know what we're talking about. We jump into social media. We look at the comments, see what everybody else is saying, and then decide, oh, okay, I'm going to jump on that same bandwagon. I'm going to run and say the same things. There, we have to start thinking critically, which is why it was important to bring that picture up with Trump, that AI picture with those black women, because that was not a real photo. Like, you got to start thinking critically. You guys have cell phones, laptops, iPads. Get over to Google. Well, Chris, Use your... Use your devices. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, though, because I, I will say one thing. It's not just people saying it. Like, there, there, there are videos out of her saying she's like, for example, when she got, I think, because she was a D, wasn't she a DA? Mm -hmm. I yeah. believe there was a time, like, there was a video of, of her saying she's proud to be the first uh, Southern Asian woman to be elected as DA. Again, she's part Asian and part black. Yeah, she but, screams mostly about being black because she's not the first black DA. So she talked about being the first Asian. Okay. So it's like you got to look at the context of what what she's saying and stop just Thank like you. I'm proud to have titties at the top, dick at the bottom. <laughs> I have both. I'm proud to have that. <laughs> and it is okay. And I'm okay and I acknowledge that. It is okay. And Luther Campbell had a message for y'all too. Did, did, you know, you love Luther. Yes, right. That's why I have titties at the top of the bottom. Oh, because of Luther? Yes, man. That's only one place that we can go. Oh. Now, what did he say? Hit oh, it, Mo. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting sick and tired of you motherfucking Negroes who's out here trying to take the blackness away from Kamala Harris, our VP, and soon to be president. Because your daddy, Donald Trump, gives you these talking messages so you repeat the dumb shit. Oh, she's an Indian. She's black on occasions. Really? Make that shit make sense. Black HBCU pledged in one of the most prestigious black sororities, a.k.a. member of the Black Caucus. Born and raised in black Oakland. Yes, she went abroad like a lot of us, all of us go abroad into Canada and stay for a few years, come back, go to college, state attorney, prosecutor, member of the Black Caucus, stand up on, in, in, in the Senate for black issues time and time after again, y'all, man. In the words of Chad Johnson, child, please. Child, please. But then the other thing, too, is 
what happened to the one drop rule? So y'all, again, y'all only do that when it's convenient. Because <laughs> once upon a time, the one drop rule said, once you have an ounce, come on now. Yeah, I have to get a ladder. It's just like when 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 uh, Tiger Woods came through here, nobody wanted to believe that he was black, and then black people wanted to claim him. White people wanted to claim him. Asian folk wanted to come claim him. But then when he got caught up in all that foolishness, nobody wanted him. <laughs> nobody wanted Tiger Woods when he got caught up in all that foolishness. I'm sorry. Most breasts were called to be over there. Really? I don't got no breasts. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out which size bra we get. For the show. <laughs> which size bra? Camilla. All I, <laughs> Cam Camilla. <laughs> Camilla. And you know, one of the things that I remember when they first came into office, she and Biden, one of the things that she was working towards was if you have medical bills, that that would not show on your credit. Like that would not be against, it would not affect your credit score. You know, white people to make your credit. Correct. To keep you all out. To keep the niggas out. Why and they did that. Pay? So, like, like your medical bills are no longer a part of your credit score or rating. Like, you have to start researching and looking things up before you get on the internet writing shit that's just incorrect. You know, because you sound really intellectually lazy and you're typing and writing things that make you sound confidently wrong. Speaking so confidently wrong. Kamala. Kamala. I don't give a fuck what her name is. I ain't voting for Trump. At all. I seen somebody over there writing somebody, we need to stop, we need to vote for Jill Stein. Is this she ain't got a chance? Oh, God's green earth. I listen, I don't know what she's standing for, but she don't have a chance, honey. You go out there and waste your vote to my son, vote for Jill Stein, and then and then listen, Craig. I will say this. When Biden was running, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, we fucked. <laughs> well, mean before he dropped out. Before, oh, you mean the first time. Before they forced him out. Because oh, he okay. was going to run all the way until he, until he motherfucking powered down. Oh, he was. He was going to run until he... <laughs> but Trump looked like he's starting to degenerate too now. To power down? Yes. He, Go ahead. He was going to run till he powered down. When they tapped him on his shoulder and said, Girl, have a seat, honey. Mm -hmm. Great, said, have a seat, honey. Peace be still. Baby, after she did that first debate, when they threw her in there to see what she was going to give that face, she's like, and that bitch powered. Right. That bitch started buffering. They was like, we went on Don Lemon and talk. Yeah. Have a seat, honey. <laughs> they kicked him out like he was Jazzy Joe. Ah. They kicked Biden out when like I he was saw the Madam like, Vice Damn. President get in this space, and then right. and then the, the wave of support that came, I was like, we might have a chance. I think we do. I really, I really, truly do. I we said, will be registering people to vote at City Winery August fourteenth for the matter show. Matter of fact, speaking, I get your tickets. More run the damn goddamn thing so they get their tickets. Get your tickets, bitches. <laughs> actually, we uh, actually we're going to be giving away two tickets by the next show. But oh. I got to figure out what we gonna what what are gonna be the criteria for the, okay for the two ticket giveaway.